romance it's one of my favorite topics to talk about on the ranveer show to the listeners of this podcast we're living in some grim times it's difficult times for the world and that's why i thought let's kind of put out positivity in the world through this podcast keep in mind today's podcast is all about stories i am going to talk about my own personal life without taking any names i'm going to talk about everything that i've learned from all my breakups all the relationships that i've had in the past keep in mind i'm friends with all of them everyone i've dated everyone everyone that i've felt love for i'm still close to those people and i've taken the permission to create this episode so let's begin at the age of 14 there were about seven girls in my class and there was this one person who i really gelled with a lot she was my best friend in school and what do you know you end up liking that person but here's the thing your definition of love as a kid is movies is anjali and rahul from kuch kuch hota hai things like that so you think that the person who you feel for completely at that point is going to be your ultimate person without understanding what you really need in life what you really need from a relationship without even completely understanding yourself you give all of yourself to that other person and that's pretty much what we did intense relationship have you guys seen the music video love the way you lie with eminem and rihana i think it was kind of like that very intense fiery relationship it was a relationship from my childhood and i'd look back at it very fondly i feel like it was very innocent puppy love the first time you ever feel something for anyone else it's very innocent it's very beautiful it's very pure that's why when it ends it feels as intense it feels like a whole world has come crumbling down but the lesson i gained from that one was that never fear letting go of something good for something that could potentially be great as you grow up in life as you age you end up discovering a lot of things about yourself you also possibly grow into two different people while you're in a relationship that person might grow into something else you might grow into something else and eventually you might get a voice in your head that tells you there might be someone else out there for me someone who i'm more suited to and this is where the second person came into my life let's call her disha again we were too young back then i think we were about 19 or 20 years old and honestly disha was also in the middle of studying i was in the middle of my studying process i feel like both of us made mistakes in that phase we paid heavily for those mistakes uh honestly this was also the phase where i began engineering college where i got into alcohol deeply i've spoken about it on the channel in the past i actually dealt with a deep form of depression back then because of the cocktail of things happening around me this relationship happened at the wrong time in fact it pushed me deeper into that dark pit that i created for myself at that point a lot of teenagers especially in the late teens early 20s deal with this kind of a situation and the reason i say teenagers in the early 20s is because i feel you really mature at 22 but before the age of 22 you still have an element of that puppy love left inside you and i thought that the only way i know how to love is with all 100% of my intensity and that's the second lesson do not get emotionally dependent on other people do not make them the center of your world relationships should be a part of your life not your entire life your entire mood all your emotions the way you perceive the world the way you perceive your day shouldn't be centered around one person because if at all it comes down crashing it's going to hit you really really hard it's going to push you down any deeper pit that you're already sliding down i was already in a very weak mental state at that point taught me a lot about life for sure when you're beaten down by life it's your biggest teacher in life that's also why we created the mental fitness series on beer biceps eventually mental fitness is the ability to battle out difficult situations in the world in fact covid-19 is a very good example of a difficult situation for the world where people's mental fitness levels are coming to the forefront you're going to see the most real version of people what's the underlying emotion behind everything they do is it positivity is it ambition is it hope is it fear is it cynicism is it anger what's happening all that's coming out but i feel if you're mentally fit you'll always perceive a situation like covid-19 positively or at least practically that's why you got to work on your mental fitness and sometimes your relationships are your greatest teachers when it comes to mental fitness to toughening you up they are greatest lessons in life 
whether you learn positive things from them or negative things from them they will make you a more evolved being and this is where the third relationship of my life began at about 21 i began a very beautiful relationship with a very beautiful person let's call her natasha and this person had the purest heart everything i felt i had felt for my previous two relationships i felt that this person was the first person who reciprocated those feelings this person was the first person who could love back with the same intensity over time once again that same problem of growing up you grow into two different individuals with different priorities but this is the one relationship i look back at and say that you know what that's the relationship that kept me sane it probably got me out of that deep pit of darkness another beautiful aspect of relationships definitely help you grow but more importantly at certain stages of your life they pull you out of the pit that you wish to be pulled out of they almost rescue you now it's not healthy but that's just the nature of being a human being sometimes you want someone to get that lifeboat and come get you if you're not mentally fit if you don't have perspective of this world if you're not a mature person exactly like a 21 year old ranveer alabadia sometimes you take people for granted sometimes you project all the pain that you've been through onto them that's a huge lesson i learned from that particular one don't project your pain don't project your insecurities on someone else especially someone who loves you with an open heart i probably projected more negativity on this person than my previous two relationship people because i felt like you know what no matter what happens this person won't leave me that's why you can see like my ugliest side which is not correct and that's something you learn as you grow up you cannot project your shortcomings onto someone else for those of you who don't understand what projection means i'm going to give you an example now if you see your parents having a bad relationship your parents are your rule setters you've grown up watching them looking at the behavioral patterns so say if you grow up and this happens to a lot of us because a lot of us grow up in broken families in india especially we grow up with parents having tiffs with family members having tiffs with each other we think tiffs are okay and they're part of all relationships so you've grown up holding on to that little negative idea which eventually you throw at the person you're dating you throw at the person who loves you you start taking that person for granted huge life lesson never do that and you won't understand the depth of this situation until it happens to you until someone does the same to you if you've ever had a relationship that's even been marginally toxic the toxicity the poison of the relationship comes from the other person's past their experiences growing up their upbringing their insecurities which are projected onto you so next time if you're dating someone or if you're currently dating someone and you want to say something nasty to them you want to lash out at them angrily you want to take out your work frustration and throw it on them take a minute take a step back and understand the consequences of your anger understand the consequences of your toxicity that's what i understood from that relationship this person had the most beautiful heart in the world and i honestly feel that from every relationship you take away a positive from that person you're dating from that person i took away the possibility of being that nice in life how can someone be so nice we definitely grew into different people we parted ways and eventually the next person came into my life at this stage of my life i was in my early 20s and your early 20s especially in a country like ours which is this career driven they're all about growth in this world sometimes even in your partners you have a quest for growth through them you tell yourself that you know what am i going to gain from this relationship how am i going to grow in this relationship and if you have butterflies in your stomach because of someone then hey even better there's that little base layer of ambition and growth and positivity and on top of that the cherry on that cake is those butterflies you feel in your stomach you feel like you're a school kid even after college is done even when you're out in the real world sometimes you hold on to innocent love that way but you need to understand that the thing i keep saying about people growing into different individuals there's no jump like the jump that you experience from the age of 22 to 25 you'll be an extremely different person at 22 compared to the person you are at 25 because the real world starts hitting you you get access to older people who aren't just your teachers you get access to people who are your mentors 
you get access to new experiences you're earning money for the first time you're an adult for the first time it's a wave of newness you rapidly grow into different people now also understand that your early 20s especially in india is a tester period for your married life people especially society our parents is generation expects us to get married in our late 20s possibly early 30s so any relationship you have in your early 20s is a test drive for that now you're changing so much from the age of 22 to 25 you're changing spiritually you're changing financially you're understanding your own financial capabilities in this world and therefore your ambitions are changing rapidly so just imagine the depth of change that's taking place in your own mind maybe the reason that that person loved you in the first place may not exist within you anymore that's how much you change and the big lesson i learned from this one is that no matter how perfect a relationship seems today always take it a little slowly and communicate a lot understand the other person's perspective especially in your 20s understand the stage of life that they're at and if you feel that you're taking away from that person's happiness in any aspect then slow down a bit don't get ahead of yourself life is extremely long and the best relationships are sometimes the ones that progress really slowly until you're married to someone you can't give 100% of yourself to that person please understand that and that's another mistake that sometimes bollywood makes us do they talk about crazy intense love that puppy love which you've gone through in school you've made those mistakes but you repeat those mistakes in your mid 20s because hey you're earning money you're an adult you have your own personality maybe this time you're so sure of yourself the same way you were so sure of your career you're sure that this one's going to work and it may not because destiny may not be in your hands destiny may not be in your favor maybe you two aren't meant to be together you need to process that fact that until you're actually married to someone hell until you're married to someone for at least 5 years i feel you should go slowly take one day at a time especially in your mid 20s where you're growing so fast there's a reason that there's so many divorces in the modern day a lot of people rush into marriage a lot of people rush into marriage for the wrong reasons dating someone going out with them hanging out with them is very different from living with them you'll understand what it's like to live with a person when you travel with them or when you have a live in relationship and good luck trying to create a live in relationship in india not the easiest place to have one but that's the true test for marriage you need to experience what it's like being with that same person for more than just a week you need to understand what that person's like to breathe with you need to have comfortable silences you need to be with that person all the time all your activities your conversations your ambitions your goals need to match take it slow it's a learning process and finally i'm going to leave you all with the almost 27 year old version of ranveer at this stage of my life here's my five rules for successful relationships rule 1 as much as bad breakups have taught me against proclaiming this rule i still believe in true love and i still believe that butterflies in your stomach are a necessity you need to have that base level of attraction you need to be either physically attracted to the person you need to be intellectually attracted to the person and if you're a spiritually evolved person you need to be spiritually attracted to the person that base of attraction has to be there when you meet the person for the first time you have to get some butterflies in your stomach going you know what even 3 4 years into a good relationship sometimes you need those butterflies in your stomach and keep in mind this does happen to human beings maybe it's that person's voice maybe it's that person's ada in hindi there's a word called ada which basically translates to the little subtle movements you know the things they do the way they put the hair back the way they flare their nostrils when they're angry these little things when you break up with someone those are the things you miss because those were the things that got you charmed in the first place the way that person spoke the way that person smiled not just the looks not just the brains it's all a package deal that kind of churns up the butterflies in your stomach the second aspect of this friendship friendship is way more important than relationships romance and love if you begin very intensely if you begin romantically there's a chance that all that fire might burn out at some point but if your relationship is built on the basis of friendship 
that's the true test for a relationship a great life hack is to be able to see how well you gel with that person's friends if you get along with their friends you'll probably end up in a long term relationship with that person because see when you're attracted to someone it's a combination of lust love and friendship eventually lust fades sometimes even love fades what you're left with is friendships and what relationships turn into are partnerships according to me that's why you need to be able to have that partnership with that person and the test for partnership is that if you remove that element of attraction who is this person that you love you'll be able to know who that person is by knowing their friends because people vibe with others like themselves if you like their friends as company it's very likely that you're in a good long term relationship right now if you don't take a step back and gauge this situation see this isn't a golden rule this doesn't apply to everyone but most cases you need to see if you can gel with their friends third point don't go out looking for perfection in relationships don't go out looking for the 100% perfect partner no one's perfect you're not perfect you're probably never going to be perfect at the most you'll get an 8 on 10 or a 9 on 10 this person might look gorgeous but might have some major flaws say in conversation this person might be extremely intelligent but may not be able to dress well and that might be an important factor for you this person may be smart and loving towards you but doesn't really want to talk to your family now you've got to ask yourself that those two points that are missing if this person's an 8 on 10 those two points that are missing are they that crucial for you or can you bridge that gap through good communication this is where friendship comes in as a factor once again talk a lot to each other relationships are about accepting people for who they are but it's also about bridging gaps through a bit of compromise so be ready to compromise because you're not a 10 on 10 either you're probably an 8 on 10 point number 4 if you are in a serious relationship or you want to develop a serious relationship with someone exchange ideas about your long term goals where do you see yourself when you're 50 years old not professionally where do you see yourself is it a big house in europe in some orchard is it a small flat in mumbai or delhi where you just want your coziness where you just want maybe a dog maybe a kid is it somewhere on a beach in goa and then you've got to ask that person these questions where do they see themselves if you really love them ask yourself if you can put yourself within their dreams discuss your long term visions because that needs to match and when that does that's what creates magic in the most symbiotic relationships i'm dead sure bill gates and melinda gates spoke about this at some point they exchanged ideas i'm dead sure barack obama and michelle obama exchanged ideas about their long term visions your visions got to match your ambitions have to match what you want from life in terms of kids pets the way you want your life to be your daily cycles what time you want to wake up things like that little things like that matter in the long term and the fifth and final rule have a life outside of them i've repeated this point through the course of this podcast but that's the one big learning of my life till this point they cannot be the center of your world your career your own family your own parents your pets eventually your children are a part of your world none of these aspects are your entire world and your relationship also fits into your world in the same way the best relationships help you grow they bring out the best in you they help you learn a lot about life they support you in your dark times but they're still just a part of your life remember that love is the biggest motivation in the world i was recently listening to a podcast by tim ferris where he was interviewing the former surgeon general of usa who has dealt with a lot of patients who were on their deathbed and his one learning of life was that when people are dying they don't talk about the career they don't talk about the instagram following they don't even talk about the amount of money they have in the bank they talk about the relationships that were the highlights of their life the people who invoked a feeling of love inside them that's what you remember when you're dying love is the biggest motivation behind everything we do we want to become rich to give to the ones around us not just to feel a sense of power ourselves that's not how human nature is built human nature is all about socializing giving to others 
And that's why I strongly believe that relationships are definitely just a part of your life. But don't stop believing in love at the same time. When you're loving, love with an open heart, but love with all these learnings as a part of your subconscious mind. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Wow, this was like an intense heart to heart. A lot of y'all request for these episodes where Ranveer should interview Ranveer. I think this was the closest we'll get to that. And in the time of COVID-19, I hope you all like my home setup. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I definitely enjoyed doing this. If you're watching this on YouTube, definitely drop a comment. I want to know what other kind of episodes you guys would like. And I hope that some of these lines stay with you forever. If they do, I've probably done my job. Lots of love to you guys. Subscribe to Beer Biceps on YouTube and follow us on all audio platforms for The Ranveer Show.